Hey everyone, today I'm making a craft video. I'm going to make some toys for Bernadette. Both my kids have been very brave today, they had their shots. So, first, I picked up some ribbon. I got red, green, pink. Keep rocking her, sweetie. I'm not allowed to rock her, it's Charlie's job. Um, purple though this is technically yeah. oh this one doesn't have a color on it ultraviolet oh. and blue um, I wanted to find little wooden rings but um all I could find was like handbag um, ties for making your own handbag but they will do the trick I checked them they're perfectly safe for Bubba to put in her mouth so here we go so to make this yourself you need five different ribbons any color you'd like and just one of these i have two i'm gonna make two though a pair of sewing scissors and a sewing machine so you can use hot glue i prefer to use a sewing to sew it up though so that's all up to you so using your scissors cut the ribbon to a long length um, I've cut you need to make sure that you've got enough to fold it over the ring and sew it up so I've cut them about 30 centimeters and then I've added about um, four centimeters to fold it over and tie it off so using a pin you just carefully pin a loop around your ring and then you get ready to sew it. Please move, Charlie. Thank you. Okay, my machine is threaded. Yeah. Though I don't quite have a, a, the kind of length that I like off the bottom thread. Hopefully, it won't unthread itself, though. We place this in position. change our stitch I'm using a six I'll tell you what that is on my machine so don't mind the mess it's recycling day tomorrow oh that's awfully blurry so that one's a six there we go that's less blurry and it's the closest stitches that I can manage and now we sew we do one row then we lift it up, we trim off the thread, leaving enough length so that I don't have to re-thread my machine. And then we angle it a little bit, put the foot back down, and do another one. Just to be safe, we don't want it coming apart in our baby's mouths. Then we trim it off, trim the thread as well. Oh, goodness, the back's a bit of a mess. I wonder if my machine's jamming or if the thread just got caught. I think the thread just got caught. Okay, so the back should not look like that. My machine just had a bit of a meltdown. So that's one done. Trim back the thread some more so that it doesn't look like that. And you also need to trim. Let's turn that camera so that I'm not quite as awkward. That. So trim that off, being careful not to trim your actual ribbon. And you've got your first bit of ribbon. Ah, still got loose threads though, so I'm just going to trim those off. Because I don't want those getting caught in my baby's mouth. So there we go, first bit done. And then you take your ribbon. And you take your pin and you do it again. Make sure it's just about even and hopefully I need to bend it the other way. There we go. Charlie honey mummy is filming. So I've pinned it again and now it's ready to go back under my machine. Done. 
pull it out. Trim. Now this time I'm going to trim back this thread first. Charlie. So that it doesn't get tangled in my machine. Hey, guess who's in the driveway? What, Mama? Who's in the driveway? In the driveway. Daddy's home. And now we do the second one. So I lift it up, pull it off, yeah. and trim again. Okay. And then we just take that pin out, trim the loose lots, yeah. and you do this again for all five of your threads. And the last bit you need to do is take the scissors and just cut the length of ribbons so that they're all even. And you have a lovely ribbon ring. So the babies like to look at the colours, especially um, red, which is the first colour that they can see. Um, and up until that point, all they can see is black and white. So they just like, and later on, they can gum on it. So it's quite nice. I hope you enjoyed this. God bless, and I'll see you next time.